We welcome everyone to this August 15th, 2022 meeting of the Gorsican ISD Board of Trustees. This is a workshop and all items that have been and all items that will be discussed have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in public, it is not a meeting of the public. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budgets, make policy and provide oversight. We are not here to manage or solve individual problems. Management is responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe that we must educate every child, provide every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and maintain a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. These are our core values. We appreciate your interest in, C in the students of CISD. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ms. Harrison, is there any audience for guests? All right, thank you, ma'am. And now we'll go to the superintendent's report. Well, we are very pleased to be back in school. This is our fourth day, and we have had four excellent days. Uh, I believe that the, the mood and the morale on the campus is exceptional. Our students are excited to be back in school, and our teachers and staff are excited to be here as well. Um, as of Friday, we had 5,879 students. Um, on our campuses, and so we welcome each and every one of them. We're seeing some significant enrollment increases in um, certain campuses, um, particularly at um, Navarro. We see some really high numbers, so that's great. A lot of people want to be in Corsican ISD, and we want them to be here. We um, also want to thank, particularly tonight, um, a, a piece of art, um, someone for a piece of art that the district is going to be receiving. Carol Dawson is um, contributing, donating a watercolor called Gerber to Corsican ISD in order of her late father, Mr. Matt Dawson, who is a long-serving CISD trustee. So we're very um, fortunate to have someone who wants to make that kind of contribution to the district, and we'll be putting it in the halls of the um, Kent Rogers Administration Building. So if you want to come by and see that, we welcome everyone to stop by and see that. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, now we're going to go into the action items and consider and approve the employee handbook. So you have the full employee handbook in board book. There's only a couple of significant changes and those have to do with safety and security. Um, we just wanted to make it very clear that classroom doors are to be locked as well as doors to all of our campuses. That's been a huge emphasis for us and we um, appreciate our officers going to so much trouble we're doing door checks throughout the day we're doing um, door checks by our officers and our administrative staff during the week and so that is now um, in our in our staff handbook as far as our expectations um, Meryl there is one change I noticed or Kathy noticed actually on page 11 um, we'll need to modify the time, the start time of our board meetings um, from 4.30 to 5 o'clock. So if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer those. And if not, um, I'm asking you to please approve the employee handbook tonight. I move that we approve the employee handbook for 2022-2023 with the correction of the time, start time at 5 o'clock. Is there a second? I second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to consider and approve the, the employee handbook with the correction on page 11. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. 
the ayes have it. We have approved the employee handbook. Now we're approved the TTES appraiser list. All right. Thank you, Dr. Frost, Mr. President, distinguished members of the board. Um, we're asking for approval of the T-Test certification appraiser list for the 22-23 school year. Um, I believe you have the list there. Every, everyone on that list is primarily campus administrators, but it's also composed of central administration as well. Uh, and and we've, uh, we're going to continue to certify individuals in the district to uh, appraise our classroom teachers. So we could come to you and add a couple of names at some point in time over the next month or so. But uh, as of right now, these are all of our administrators who are uh, certified to appraise uh, our teachers. Thank you, Mr. Brewer. Anybody have any questions? Move we approve the 22-23, T is it T-TES? T-TES. Well, the acronyms in education yeah. are just yeah. the T-TES appraiser list for this year. Is there a second? Second. I've got a motion and a second to approve the 2022-23 T-Test appraiser list. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes have it. We've approved the 2022-23 T-Test appraiser list. Now we're going to go into the district budget overview and departmental budget review. I'm going to ask um, Mr. Farmer to come up and um, lead that conversation. Thank you all for letting me speak to y'all about this tonight. Um, I'd like to start with the uh, quarterly budget report. Um, y'all should have copy of that. Um, not much has it's changed. It's not in here. here. We don't. Oh, you didn't copy. Harold, do you have a copy of the quarterly budget um, so report? That's is it the same one we looked at? It's the same one, it's, yeah. We've already got, seen it's it. It's got some updated numbers on it. Um, just basically, we have one more payroll left. Um, and that will conclude uh, this, this school year's okay. payroll. Um, we have some year adjustments to make, um, but everything's still coming in um, well under budget. Uh, we need to keep an eye on function 51, 34, those always are, are tight there at the end. Remind us what 51 oh, sorry, and 34 51 are. Is, uh, facilities and maintenance and 34 is transportation. So Michael, Mike and me will be working on those to get those um, under budget or under where the, where the audit and everything is, uh, agrees with those. Um, the only thing I else had was the preliminary budget again. Um, that has not changed much. We're still entering contracts in a daily basis. Um, we, we are working with HR um, to go over that. Um, we will continue to, to make sure that all um, comes as accurate as possible. And in the next two weeks, we should have uh, some accurate numbers for you. So, Anything else? Or? Hey, you want to go ahead and talk about what we're looking for for next year? Where we're looking at for next year? The budget. Mm -hmm. um, so right now we um, we are still showing a revenue uh, fifty-seven million eight forty-four, and we are showing a total expense of fifty-seven million five sixty-six. So as we said right now, we are showing a balanced budget with about a two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars surplus, and um, we are um, if you look in um, in the payroll, um, that's where we made our biggest biggest gains this year as far as cutting back as much payroll as we could, being very tight on that. Uh, work with Shade and HR on that as well. Um, the only increases we have that are large are PCAT insurance went up about $100,000. That's just due to cybersecurity across um, across everywhere. Um, ransomware is the main, the main driver on that. And um, 6600 took a big drop, and that's just because we're not doing the softball field this year. That was about $750,000 last year. We don't have that on the budget this year. Um, so we're, we're shown to be balanced. Um, like I said, we'll continue to get these numbers more and more accurate as we enter all the contracts in. Uh, but I can answer any questions you may have. I do have a couple of questions. We just remind everybody what percentage of our budget is payroll? Yes. Yeah, so last year we were about 82. Uh, this current or this going into this current next year will be at about 83. Okay. And that is 83% a direct link to children's education, correct? Yes, that's that, all payroll across. across okay. The and also, um, we will be lowering our tax rate again. Is correct. that correct? Correct. Okay. Yes. Will we see a pretty significant drop in that? Uh, I think it's 0.8. In the INS side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I do want to point out in payroll as well that um, the increase is in um, staff that is in our classrooms. It is not administrative. A lot, a lot of people have questions about administrators and payroll and that sort of thing. We probably cut over a half million dollars in administrative costs because of um, attrition. What we have not done is replaced all the people who have left and we've rolled job responsibilities in and staff has been great to pick up different job responsibilities, but we made a concerted effort to be responsive and to make sure that um, we were cautious about those kind of additions and we've been very successful in doing that. And can the public um, locate that on our website, the um, first report? Yes. It has a direct link. As, right. Isn't that correct? It has a direct link to the percentage we spend and how it ranks we, in the state. We got an A on that. And we received an A? Yes. Yeah, we got our okay. yeah. We just received that, and we received an A, so we're very pleased about it. Great. Yeah. I guess I just want to say just for the public, those that are watching, listening, however y'all do it, you know, if anybody has any questions about school finance, you know, Dr. Frost, y'all can contact her or she'll give you direction on you know how school finance. I know it's very it's a very difficult subject. Very, very confusing. Very, yeah. very confusing. And sometimes John Tiller Citizen can't really understand. No. We all can't understand school finance. I know I, I've been on board for what, three terms, and it's very it can be very tedious. But they they have open door policy, and I know that Brian he can try to help you understand. That way to cut down on all the rumor mill and people that just really don't know what's going on. So anyway, that's just my little comment on the sidebar. Good comment. <laughs> <laughs> we will have our um, tax rate adoption on the 29th and um, some further budget information on that day. We'll, we'll also have a posting in the newspaper this, yes. this Friday that will show a lot of information on that as well. Regarding the mm -hmm. tax, tax rate, rate and everything. Yeah. Tax rate's going on the, the INS, not the MO, correct? But the MO is going down a little bit too. Yeah, they're, they're, it's going down. A total, total weight's going down. Yeah, it's, um, it's that'll be posted. Significant. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I asked Brian for it the other day. If, because uh, we had talked about mm -hmm. how much it was going down. I have it here, but it, it, it's going down like, yeah, he said 0.8 on the INS and it was still going down as a portion on the M&O. Right. So both sides are going down actually. Yeah. And it's been, that's been trending that way for the past five, six years. Right. Good. Does anyone have any questions for Brian? I mean, we're gonna, obviously we're gonna solidify this next week. Actually, two weeks, excuse me. Is there anything else? you have anything for him? All right, thank you, Brian. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Well, we're going to go into closed session, permitted by Governance Code Section 551.01. Thank you.